My special guest today is lecturer at Sydney University School of Economics, and his career highlights include receiving the Roberts Wesleyan College Alumni Association Outstanding Senior Award and working with international groups to provide and promote effective solutions to alleviate global poverty. Welcome, Russell, to the show. Thank you. Thank you we, for we, having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. We saw there an insight of a, of a problem here in Australia, but you really uh, have taken a keen interest in economics in a bigger field than that. Tell us what made what makes somebody we can say sometimes what makes a person want to play football what makes what makes a person want to do economics um well thanks for asking uh, my uh father was really a big influence on me uh early on he talked to me about politics and economics in the world he had grown up um, in eastern europe and escaped from communism and immigrated yes. to canada and so uh, he got me interested in, when I was a kid, even 11, 12, 13, I would read the business papers, read about the world economy, and it kind of uh, started from there. So some of your mates thought, how sad that is, reading the economics paper. But in fact, it's been a guide in, it's not something you just took a, a temporary interest in, isn't it? Uh, where did your career begin then? Um, it really launched when I was an uh, undergraduate, so I was at a Christian college and I had some really important uh, mentors who were willing to spend time and help develop my interest and in my calling uh, to, uh, to pursue a career in economics research. Um, and it was somewhere around my early 20s where I uh, learned about the idea of, of uh, becoming a researcher, doing a PhD in economics and uh, transitioning into the career I, I'm in now. So. I'm yeah. glad you call it a calling. Yeah. So you see this as being something uh, that, that is a God-given part of your life. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, now you've taken on the international. I want to talk about that for a moment. Yeah. You've got an international perspective and involvement in economics. What does that actually mean? Um, so um, during my time in Hungary, I really became interested in, in problems of development. At that time, Hungary was transitioning from communism into becoming a capitalist economy. There was a lot of people who were being left behind and disappointed with, with that transition. So I became interested in issues of, of um, working in countries where there's high rates of poverty, countries are less developed, a lot of people are still working in agriculture, and, and what can be done um, in terms of economic policies to help speed up the development process. And if I dare ask it, how does the Christian faith interact with all that for you? Well, I think, I think partly it's, it's a, a broad guiding principle. Uh, you know, Jesus spoke a lot about the, the social mission of the church and that we should do things for the poor. And so um, I think it really, you know, connects my passions of um, helping people, supporting the social mission of the church and um, having a deep interest in, in economics and some of the technical sides of economics. So. I, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because sometimes at Wesley Mission, many people think that the Christian faith, when they look at us, is just about doing a few good works, but it's actually about bigger issues than that. Sometimes we have to advocate, be prophetic, speak into difficult places. And as some of the work you've been involved in has taken you to, to other countries. What particular countries have you been working with? Yeah, well, when I was um, in my graduate studies, I uh, worked with a, a Christian professor, actually, who's um, very well known internationally, who's done a lot of work in Africa. So I got involved in some of the projects that he was doing there. Um, and um, during my PhD studies, I became interested in Indonesia. And so I've started, I studied um, household enterprise activity in Indonesia for my PhD. And then since I moved to Australia, I've become uh, heavily involved in doing research in Indonesia and Myanmar, uh, you know, working on a number of projects. You couldn't have countries. three more different economic systems <laughs> than Indonesia, Myanmar and Africa, could you, really? Yeah, They're all yeah. very different. Yes. And, and, and is it your conviction that really the way we view money, the way we engage with economics can change the outlook of economies for a country? Um, yeah, um, I, I think... Um, you know, one of, the, one of the roles I have, as you said earlier, is in, in advocacy. And so I try to uh, work with policymakers and work with organizations that are implementing um, policies on the ground, working with poor people, trying to reduce poverty. And so uh, I think a big part of my role is to try to 
try to discover truth in a very practical sense, mm -hmm. in understanding what policies work and what policies don't work, uh, and trying to provide that information to decision makers who have control over huge you know, government programs, NGO programs, or working with the private sector. And this is so. bigger than just left and right, isn't it? It's, an, it's, a, it's something that challenges the whole way people see the world. Yeah, it really cuts, uh, cuts really down to the details of, of what work. So, um, you know, uh, tagging on to the, the video that we saw earlier, some of the, the programs that I look at and other colleagues look at, for example, um, look at how to people, help people better manage their finances, deal with financial stress, um, providing trainings on that and understanding what really works uh, mm. in, in that space, for example. So. You see, you've told me that now, and I shall use you again now. You've told <laughs> me that because that's one of the big things that we are concerned with. Uh, Russell, we wish you well on it, and I'm just so thrilled that you see it as a God-given calling. We, we don't just want people on this programme who says, I'm called to preach the gospel. Well, yes, that's important, but we need people at every area of thought, uh, of academia and intellectual rigour, as well as the practical areas. Thank Absolutely. you very much indeed for being on the show. Thank you so much.